Gracie spoke with Monica Oganis, a school psychologist who shared with her how she uses her skills to help students overcome obstacles and achieve their potential. Monica, what is a school psychologist? A school psychologist works with children. Uh, we mostly work in the school setting, but uh, usually public schools, private schools, however, you do see some people in private practice and hospital settings and juvenile centers. And basically the, um, the work of a school psychologist is directed at working with children, working with parents, working with teachers, and really deal with all the, um, the needs of children, be academic needs, social needs, uh, emotional needs, behavioral needs. Um, kind of work to connect, you know, all the settings, all the all the uh, needs, so we can really focus on um, removing barriers to learning, to improving, to um, better outcomes for children. What degree do you need to be a school psychologist? School psychologists have to have a specialist degree. A uh, specialist degree has about 60 hours of graduate training, so post-bachelor's degree training, and that involves a full-year internship. So uh, you do your about at least a minimum of 60 hours. Some programs do have you know require more hours, uh, but at least 60 hours. And then when you do your internship, you actually work for a full year in a school, and you have to be supervised by a school psychologist. And you know you start learning and you know to provide the services. And then once you graduate after about three years of uh, graduate work. Then you have a degree in school psychology. Uh, you would have to get certified at least by your state. So the, you know it varies by state and by district, but at least the, the minimum certification would have to be a state certification. So you have to take an exam and then pass your exam and then you get certified. So the majority of school psychologists that work in the schools are certified school psychologists. Now, if you want to work in private practice, you know, which I do, uh, you would have to get additional supervision under a licensed school psychologist, and then after a couple of years, you get licensed as a school psychologist, and then you can provide services in the private setting. And that really also varies by state. Once you get your certification, do you have to renew that? Yes, absolutely. For uh, for both the certification and licensure, you have to take continuing uh, education credits, and you know, depending on what you have, certification, licensure. Uh, there's also uh, so you have to always be in training because you want to know what's out there, new research. Mm -hmm. You know, you really have to use research-based information in order to uh, apply really what is best to the situation. What made you want to be a school psychologist? Well, school psychologists have expertise in psychology and education. My background was in psychology. I got a bachelor degree in psychology. Uh, but I always was interested in the, you know, in how or, or the interventions being given really in the school setting. Because when you work with a child, even in private practice, the majority of a child, the child's life outside the home is really in the schools. Mm -hmm. And when we identify anything here in private practice, really we develop a series of interventions or we, we give recommendations and the majority are implemented in the school. So I really thought that the combination of psychology and education in order to address and help a child was really uh, powerful and really what is, need, what is needed to uh, make this, uh, the children or the life of children successful. So I started looking into you know, different careers that would allow me to do that and uh, school psychology just is fascinating, I think, you know, and uh, the work that school psychologists do is, is really unique and very needed because really we have the, the unique training that nobody in the school system has. Mm -hmm. um, and even in private practice, you know, with my, even though I do a little more neuropsychology, with my background in school psychology, I really am able to apply you know, what I find into the school setting, which is really where the interventions mostly take place. So the combination is really um, very, very good and very uh, unique for children. And I think that school psychology, in itself is really a fascinating career and I, I don't think I could go back and choose a different one because I'm very excited I did choose school psychology. 
It was so great to meet you and to hear about school psychologists. Very interesting. Sounds like a very rewarding career. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. I uh, I really enjoyed you know telling you about school psychology, and I hope that you know we can see more people entering the field. We definitely need more more school psychologists. Uh, it's a, an area of critical shortage. Yet there's a lot of need in the schools and private practice, and you know it it really is a rewarding career. So I hope to see many people enter the field.